and um, wireframe is four. That just shows kind of the wire of how the edges are connected. Five, um, that's completely smooth shaded, and then six has lighting, and we haven't added any lights. Um, if we go to render, it'll use default lighting, which works fine, especially for testing. Once you get to lighting and texturing, uh, you want to add your own lights and lighting. And you you can add these to any of these views, um, but usually wireframe will work fine. Anyways, what I can do, I'll show you very briefly, like if you're creating an eye socket, you can grab over all these faces. Oops. Um, briefly, th this is something I used a lot, um, or started using a lot. If you hold down uh, the Q, and you can go to here, and it has these options, you can also access these through hitting the Q key, hold it down, and go to camera based selection. And this will change it to select based on only what the camera is seeing. Um, so right now it's selecting everything I go over, at least within this object. If I change camera based selection on, it will only do what the camera sees. So if we pan around, it didn't select these faces because the camera couldn't see it. Um, and it didn't select any of those. So anyway, a very nice tip to have. Hit Q, hold it down, left mouse over, turn off camera based selection, and move over and delete. Something like this, edge extrusion, can be useful because um, we have this line of flow. If you double click, it'll select the whole edge. And then from there, we can extrude the edge. Extrude. Now, it might seem like you want to use the red one to make it go out, but it. Um, yeah, we don't want them curving around like that. Um, a lot more times it would be even more messy. You almost always want to use the blue one if you want them all to go straight out. Um, no, hang on. Let me select this again and do an extrude. Well, usually it gives me the blue. Actually, this time it was green. Who knows why? But you can just test that out, and I'll move it out this way. So this, you can see we're already kind of creating a face, and you can move, go to vertexes and move those where you want, and then go back to the edge and do an extrude. But yeah, it, it depends. Um, but I feel like 95% of the time, the blue one is the one I want, especially if I'm going out. Anyways just showing when edges can come in handy since 95% of the time when I extrude, I'm extruding a face. Um, I'm going to, you want key faces together on, if you do, um, I could show you in a second what it does if you don't check that on. It's not terrible, but you have to know what, it, what you're getting. Um, and I'm going to go over the option box make sure the divisions are on one that should be the default but if you're extruding along a curve sometimes I have it set at 30 or so anyways so I'm gonna right mouse over go to face click on that and now I'm going to hit extrude and that'll make it's made a brand new face and right now it's sitting over top but if I move this up the blue we can see it's made a new face and I can um, you can't right away grab the middle and scale it I'll say well I, I want to scale it over all directions well you just tap one of them now the scale thing moves on and you can scale it in and scale it out and the G key is very important almost sometimes I feel like the extrude is the G key because I'm extruding so often um, and you, if you hit G, it creates another one. And if we move it up. And you want to be sure that every time you extrude, you bring something up. And let me give you an example. If I undo, 
Okay, so now the face is gone, so I'll do another extrusion. But I didn't undo far enough, and now they're overlapping each other, these edges, because I created one, I didn't undo enough. Um, middle mouse that over, and we can see there's actually another face there, which can give you trouble. So if you're undoing, let me un go back, control Z. I haven't deleted a face yet. I still, there's still faces there. If I'm going to extrude, I have to undo until it's back to where I want it. And now I can do an extrude and it won't be at the same spot. So really, you see, we're already starting to define a shape and you can move it around. You can scale it in any of the directions. Um, I'd like to point out that as I'm doing the scale, it has the local scale over here. So if I want it to be a point, I'll just hit zero, 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 and now it's a point. Or, you know, if I just want it um, in the one direction. And that's actually kind of tricky to do on your own um, because, well, I can show you if we're trying to scale it down, you say, well, there, it's all the way scaled down. But it's not. And sometimes it's even more apparent. Um, you think you've got it all the scale way scaled down. So this is a great way to just affect that. But let me show you keep faces together. Or let me just show you scaling in multiple directions. So if we want to move this out, we click all four. And here if we hit extrude, yeah, we want to do the blue one. Because this will move it out. And it'll move it out in all directions. Um, this little circle up here, what that if you click that, that'll do based on world scale. So now if we do the blue, all the faces are going to move in this direction, like that. Uh, we're moving them over. Um, and yeah, if we scale it and move it, they're moving based on scale and not out. So you I generally find when you extrude, you just want to go out. And if you scale it in and stuff, those will all be affected accordingly. Let me undo, making sure I go back to before the extrude. And when you uncheck keep faces together, you want to uncheck that before you select anything because it won't apply if you uncheck that after you've selected it. Anyways, if I select all of these here, and selecting methods, there's different ways. I often use the Q. You can also use paint select, and that kind of lets you um, paint over the ones you want. And this is set up to only do the camera, so it's not selecting the back faces right now. Those are unselected. Um, you can also use the lasso tool to kind of give you the area you want. Um, and I'm Again, I'm holding down Q and going over to Lasso and selecting the new faces. And, of course, um, if you shift select to select multiple ones. Anyways, we've got key faces selected together. It's off now. And we're selecting all of these here. And I hit Extrude. And we want the blue one again. I don't know why it was green that time. It almost never does that. Now it's only moving. It's like, it's the equivalent of if you extrude this and then extrude this. Or, sorry, you can hit F to frame up at any moment. That's a good tool. And then you extrude this. So it's like you're extruding them all separately, whereas the other way, you're doing it as one thing and moving them all kind of relative to each other, G, to repeat that. Now, so yeah, that, that could be really a problem if you're trying to keep them together and they're extruding, but it's, it's not, there's definitely uses for it I've come across. So now we're extruding them all out and, you know, we can bring them all in, uh, you know, do the same thing, select all these, G key, now we're all in extrude, and again, blue, hit this, and then scale it in, 